With the news getting more dire from Japan, it may get politically challenging for Obama to push more guaranteed loans for nuclear plants here. But Washington Congressman Jay Inslee says the U.S. cannot simply rule out nuclear power. No, I don't think that, and I don't think you're hearing many voices in Congress saying that we should shut the door on any source of energy which has no carbon pollution. Inslee is on the House Energy and Commerce Committee and says plenty of questions will get asked about safety. But he says expanding nuclear power should be explored along with wind, solar and other alternatives. Alan Durning, executive director of the environmental group Sightline, says the reason the United States hasn't built a nuclear plant since 1979 is mostly economic. But he says the Japan situation will add politics to the equation. We're a democracy and people make the decisions based on, partly on their emotions and they've just, they're, they're watching this, this catastrophe unfold. Durning believes any discussion of expanding nuclear power will be set back by at least a decade. Norman McCormick says that would be regrettable. The retired UW nuclear engineer says people don't necessarily consider pollution from burning coal. He believes the risk is less that you'll be affected by radiation from a nuclear plant. Other countries are probably going to go ahead and do what they want to do. And uh, we're going to find ourselves at an increasingly uh, economic disadvantage. There are now about 440 nuclear power plants in the world, about 104 of them in the United States, supplying about 20% of our nation's power. Here in the Northwest, Seattle City Light says nuclear power accounts for about 4%, the bulk of our electricity uh, in the Northwest coming from hydroelectric. We'll have more on this, uh, this weekend on King 5 News Upfront, 8 p.m. Sunday night on Northwest.